Hello there, I'm Josh, this is Alex, we are the target audience. Content is made for absolutely everybody, but we think it's specifically made for us, and hopefully for you as well. And I know what you're thinking. Already? Another Star Trek reaction? Yes, our second one this week. We were doing him at a solid two episodes a week, uh, a little over a month ago, and then we've just gotten really busy, we were watching some other stuff, but we're back, hopefully, two episodes a week moving forward, and we're going to be jumping into Errand of Mercy today. Um, the last episode we just watched was The Devil in the Dark, a very interesting episode that a lot of the commenters uh, seem to really like. Uh, some of them I saw said that it was in their top ten or one of their favorites of uh, the first season or even the whole series, but what I thought was really great is how many comments uh, we got about how the monster reminded them of like pizza or sausage pizza or baked lasagna those food references were all great in the comments uh yeah and i referenced it as weed you know <laughs> <laughs> like i smoked something similar back in high school um yeah and we really praised that episode and uh and it really was just like when people think of star trek they think of an episode like that misunderstanding use your words oh this isn't what we thought it was let's be civil about this and uh, i'm so attached to these characters I've, I've become a bigger star trek fan than a star wars fan and i've been a star wars fan all my life and it'd be blasphemy to, to tell my 10 year old self this of you know what's going to happen in the future but uh I, this show man it's yeah. something else it's great and we only have a few episodes left here in the season but once we finish that we're definitely going to continue watch season two and three the movies next generation everything so if it's your first time here and you're a big star trek fan make sure to subscribe to the channel we are within 100 subscribers of the time of recording this of our subscriber goal of 2000 when we hit that we're going to let you guys the subscribers choose a movie for us to react to we've been putting the list together from your guys' comments and recommendations a poll would be posted once we hit 2000 thousand and we will react to a film that you guys decide so really excited for that and really excited to watch the last few episodes of season one of this show so we're going to get started hey woo sulu i knew it i knew we'd be back eventually negotiations with the klingon empire on the verge of breaking down klingons i've heard that before i've heard that before too there's a character in TNG I know named uh, Worf that's a Klingon. The automatic deflector scheme just popped on. Body approaching. Configuration is <laughs> oh, Been a while since we had one of those. That's the most vibrations I've ever seen from that. Only drifting debris. We got him. All hands, maintain general alert. Oh, wow. Imagine you go to, like, attack the Enterprise and just blow the shit out of you. <laughs> no chance. Quick fire. Oh, fuck, we're dead. <laughs> responsibilities to the enterprise not to us is that clear perfectly sir. back to the conversation last week how he always puts his uh, ship and people first like hey leave us y you get the ship out of here on the location here there's some green goats yes. <laughs> oh yeah well, this looks like the set where we're in the, they were in that town where everything was being bombed this is my first officer mr spock you're most welcome my friend Is there some place we can go and talk? Oh yes, our council chambers are nearby, please. Just that entire scene was ADR. <laughs> but they're outside. For tens of thousands of years, there's been absolutely no advancement, no significant change in their physical environment. Tens of thousands? Captain, I can see that you do not understand us. Perhaps, excuse me, sir. Turkey. <laughs> A large number of Klingon vessels have just arrived. <laughs> Oh. Sulu in the captain's chair. Contact the fleet. Return if the odds are more equal. Kirk out. Several hundred men have appeared near the Citadel. How does he know that? They're clearly much more advanced than even the, the Federation. Captain, our phases are gone. Did you take them? Yes, Captain, I took them. I like their outfits. Were you armed, you might be tempted to use violence, and that we cannot permit. Spock always, he always has a hood or a scarf. He's always going to look the most fashionable. <laughs> Oh, is this them? Who are you? Oh, he is uh, Barona, one of our leading citizens. And he has no tongue? I have a tongue. <laughs> Where is your smile? My what? The stupid, idiotic smile everyone else seems to be wearing. Damn, dude. This guy's intense. You are now subjects of the Klingon Empire. 
You'll find there are many rules and regulations. They will be posted. Yeah, they look like they're not taking him seriously at all. He will be examined. If he is lying, he will die. Take him. Oh, shit. If anyone can pass a lie detector test, it's Spock. You may be a man I can deal with, Barona. I hope Kirk gets to punch this guy in this episode. Neighborhood controls will be established. I like how there's a fire on the wall and the, the wall was just like burned. He is what he claims to be, Commander. His main concern seems to be how he would carry out his business under our occupation. He passed. We can record every thought in a man's mind. Of course, when that much force is used, the mind is emptied. And Spock beat this thing. Are you sure you're all right? Perfectly, Baroner. But it was an interesting experience. Well, if Spock beat it, so can Kirk. Next time, keep your eyes open or I'll shut them permanently. Captain. Jeez, dude. You didn't really think I was going to beat his head in, did you? I thought you might. You're right. <laughs> <laughs> That's a nice touch how they had like the Klingon rules just posted like on the walls so people would see them. Oh! oh! Knocked him out! Is that a grenade? Six, five, four. Jeez! Oh wow! God damn! Satisfactory display. Of course we blew it up. Deliberately. <laughs> Great cut. Fight and protect the ones you love. Speak of courage, gentlemen. This courage means so little. To ah, they're being recorded. Uh. Yeah, I think the or Organians clearly like have this under control. It'll be explained, I'm sure, eventually. But they do not seem worried at all. There's no need to use your machine on him, Commander. I can tell you his name. It is Captain James T. Kirk. L1. Damn it. Captain of the USS Enterprise. He knows. All right. It's all out in the open now. Do you always betray your friends? I didn't want you to harm him. I'm sorry, Captain. No, nah, this guy's a snitch. I have no desire to die for the likes of you. Damn. Jesus. Oh, there you are, gentlemen. Well, you must have just taken care of the guards. You expect us to trust you now? Is there really a choice, Captain? <laughs> 200 Organians have just been killed. What? 200 of them. <laughs> they do not care. They are not worried. Is this a representation of the Supreme Court not giving a fuck about us? <laughs> We don't care, we have lifetime appointments. Seems it's up to you and me. It would appear so, Captain. There are only two of you against an army. Don't you realize that what you intend to do will be hopeless? Do you know who they are? It's Kirk and Spock, they can do it. Pretty bad. It is necessary, they may harm one another. They will wait until darkness. <laughs> I was like, oh, okay, a scene where they're talking alone. Maybe we'll find something out. No. <laughs> nope, nothing yet. Just nope. vague hints. But here we go. Fire. <laughs> oh, nice. It looks like they have Ugg boots on. <laughs> it has begun. Oh, my God. We're going to do something weird. Come on, Spock. Oh, whoa. Just a quick cut to the Enterprise there. <laughs> what just happened? It's the old people, man. They're doing something. We have put a stop to your violence. You? The same conditions exist on both the Starfleets. Wow. Our power is gone. Our phaser banks are dead. Stand by, sir. My fleet is helpless. You didn't hear me talk to mine, but they said the same thing. I'm going to put a stop to this insane war. You're what? They're talking nonsense. What happens in space is not your business. It's like, you motherfuckers came to my planet. I can do whatever the fuck <laughs> I want. Like, <laughs> yeah. fuck you. Oh, eventually you will have peace. But only after millions of people have died. True. In the future, you and the Klingons will become fast friends. You will work together. Never. 
Oh, they know the future now, too? Worf, uh, who is a Klingon, becomes a member of the Enterprise. That's, that's crazy. We were humanoid like yourselves. But we have developed beyond the need of physical bodies. Not another god. They're everywhere. <laughs> oh, here they go. <laughs> that guy's great. Well, Commander, I guess that takes care of the war. A shame, Captain. It would have been glorious. And then they all just left. You and I have no reason to be embarrassed. We did, after all, beat the odds. If we didn't beat the odds, we didn't have a chance. The Organians raided the game. No bones in the episode. That's rare. He's usually always in it. I think the episode was, the best thing about it was the introduction to the Klingon race. Um, the leader of the Klingons, I don't, I can't, I don't know his name, but the uh, actor I thought did a great job being very aggressive, very kind of over the top without getting too ridiculous. I thought he played his part really well. Uh, for me, probably the biggest, so that'd be the biggest positive. The biggest negative for me was probably that the Organians, to me, instantly came off as they didn't care about this at all. And it, it to me, it, it felt like, they were going to be the solution to the problem immediately. So I never really bought into the stakes. As Kirk says at the end of the episode, they raided the game. So it didn't really matter what was going on. I knew at the end, the Organians were just going to come in with a solution. It was made just a little bit too obvious to me. So that'd be the, the biggest negative for me. But I do think it was a good episode. And I do like the Klingons and the introduction to this race, similar to the Romulans, as this more aggressive, you know, war-focused race. Yeah, they kind of reminded me of uh, Khan's Khan and his group of people, and they seem to have like this Mongolian type of uh, mentality, where they kind of even look like Mongolians, like uh, Genghis Khan, you know, just uh, taking over everything. But yeah, with the uh, the Organians here, you know, just not caring. I, I like the little like the little moment of Kirk and uh, the leader of the uh, the Klingons. They both go to. They both turned to the leader of the Organians like, what? Wait, what do you mean? Like, the, these two like races are fighting on their planet, and it's like they're upset, like they're that they're not into it. It's like, what do you mean? It's like, <laughs> it's like, well, the fuck, you're on our planet. Like, why are you? Like, come on now. I, I thought that little moment of funny when the two enemies are like, you know, kind of teaming up against the planet they're on. It's like, well, it's like they're not really involved here. I got to be honest, I don't, I don't have much to say about this episode. There were a few uh, really kind of long back and forth between uh, the leader of the Klingons and Kirk that I thought were really good. Unfortunately, they were just, you know, dialogue back and forth. So if a lot of it isn't in the reaction here, that's wise because, you know, we were just kind of listening to it and enjoying it. And I thought that was a good back and forth to see both of their perspectives. Uh, but yeah, this episode from a reaction standpoint, there really just wasn't much to like react to, I guess. Uh, but I, I just thought it was a good episode all around. I just wish it wouldn't have been made so obvious to me from the beginning that the Organians were going to be this overpowering force that had a solution. Um, and I do just quickly want to say we've gotten comments in the past about us being too critical about that or thinking of this, you know, remembering that it's a 60s TV show. You know, we we do, and we understand that. Everything that we say in these uh, end-of-the-video recaps is all taken with a grain of salt of realizing the situation of the TV show. I mean, the whole point of us watching it is to give it this fresh perspective. You know, we're not watching it in the 60s on a television. You know, we're watching it in 2022. That's kind of the point of the, kind of the reaction and our thoughts. But I say that just to say, we're not saying it's a bad thing or that makes the episode bad for what it was we're just saying from watching it today that's how it came off to me but i still enjoyed it yeah we're aware of the limitations and what, what things were like and what they did and as far as i'm concerned like a tv show like this would be like it'd still be a masterpiece today in my opinion you know this is old but it's new to us and it's like holy shit this is great and uh spock and ugg boots you know just 10 out of 10 <laughs> 10 out of 10 <laughs> so yeah and also we had such just like a, a string of really good episodes you know just a little bit ago so these ones aren't for me like hitting as much as being my favorites but it's probably because we're coming off of this string of some of my favorite episodes so far so i i feel the same way with this one is kind of how i do with devil in the dark really enjoyed them both liked the stories but i just didn't like connect with them as much as i have with some of my favorites but yeah that's about all i have to say I just like how they're establishing these races and just knowing what I know from Star Trek, just in kind of like word of mouth, how like these races are going to come back and 
future episodes or movies like Klingons and Khan. So it's kind of neat to to see these these introductions and knowing that they're going to be brought back later on. Yeah, absolutely. Because even as someone who's never seen Star Trek, I've heard of Klingons and, you know, I've heard about it just in popular culture. So, yeah, totally that right there with you. Well, that's going to be our thoughts on the episode. If this is one of your favorites or you agree or disagree with anything we said, put it down in the comments. If there's anything we missed or didn't talk about, let us know as well. Any fun facts you know about this one and make sure to like the video, spread it out to other Star Trek fans so we can hit that 2000 subscriber goal and do that movie reaction movie of your guys' choosing for you guys. Absolutely. Thank you guys so much for watching along with us. I'm Alex. This is Josh. We are the target audience. Content is made for absolutely everybody, but we think it's specifically made for us and hopefully for you as well. Thanks again. We'll see you in the next one.